guys, it's time to jam with Jam Time 2000, and this is another episode of my Minecraft survival series. So, in this episode, we are gonna be moving house. <coughs> so, <coughs> sorry, just clearing my throat. So, what we've done is we um so off camera, I processed all the materials. So I've got iron gold etc in this chest here it took hours to process it all and we'll sleep now because it's dark i know i should shut the door but i won't because i'm lazy <coughs> yeah so what i've done is i've made a pretty big map to give us more chance of being able to find our way here and what i've done is i've taken a screenshot of where I am and I've also and I've also made the footprint there and I've also left a massive footprint so as you can see all the trees around here are gone there used to be a tree right there all this you all this used to be dense forest but a uh, forest and Right down there was where I spawned, and you can see. Uh, uh, and if you look over in the distance, you can still see the you can still see the fire burning. Because you, you can still see the fire burning. In fact, what I might in fact what I might do is I might uh, in fact yeah what I might do is I might just go over to this side where there's very dense roofed forest and all the trees are connected and I might just go ahead and light uh, and I might just go ahead and go ahead and light it uh, uh, and light it uh, and light it here and let that burn uh, and and then I can and then what I'll do is yep there goes my flint and steel and uh, so I've just so I've lit that and I'll just let it go. But what I've done is, so what I did was I made and yeah, yeah, that's where we went mining. I don't want to go down there because as you can see, there's two creepers. Looks like one just despawned, but whatever, we've already been down there. So there's no reason to go down there again. Oh fuck, I'm out of food. That's going to be a problem. But anyway, let's have, so what I did was I pretty much set the area on fire, where it let the fire burn through, let the fire burn through and then cleaned up the wood. But once, but pretty much this is where I decided to stop cleaning up the wood and I decided that I'll leave it so that when I'm returning here I'll see if I see bits of wood lying and kicking around then I'll know that I'm getting close and you can still see the fire and you can still see the fire burning and I re and to be honest I don't really think it's gonna spread anymore that way no it's not no I really don't think it's gonna spread anymore that way but let's yeah but let's go have a look at uh, let's see how progress on this side is going yeah pretty much this my aim here is just to leave a big footprint on the map so that oh, there'll be a big blank spot of blotch of land and I'll know that that and I'll know that that's where I where where I live although it's not well it might not be that useful because I plan on going that way which is off the map and yeah this fire is real yeah this fire has actually taken hold quite quickly actually so let's put so let's prepare it so let's get the item so let's prepare for moving so i've been doing lots of preparation off camera and I'm gonna leave this hut here where it's here and only take the important things that I'll need. So for and by the way, this is all the wood I got. In fact I'll turn these twelve oak logs into charcoal. Right, so as my, so what I'll do is I'll chuck all the um, I think, uh, yeah, my, yeah, yeah, my main source of food will probably have to be bread for now. So what I'll do is I'll chuck all the, everything into the, into the chest and then pick out what I'm going to, and then pick out what I'll take and what I'll leave. 
So now that we've got items in the chest, the first thing we need is food. Because the yeah, the first thing we need is food. Yep, then we yep, then we will need torches, a boat, and we will definitely take our redstone blocks, definitely our iron and the, mm, you know what, these bits of iron can stay here, this is coming with us, and it, uh, this can come with us, so can the sword, these can come with me because I can use them to make concrete, yep, that, um, the leather's coming with me, the saplings can come with me just in case I set up in an area where there's not many trees. Seeds can come with me, spade can come with me, so can all this wood. I don't think I'm going to worry about taking doors with me because I really doubt, I highly doubt whether I'm even going to need doors. Hmm, and then, hmm, I'll bring, I'll bring a crafting table. Yeah, but, hmm. Yeah, but I reckon... Oh, definitely the map. Yeah, but I'll keep... Yeah, but what I'll... Yeah, but what I'll do is I'll... So I'll put all these items out of my hot bar and keep important items in my hot bar. So that'll be stuff like my sword. So that'll be stuff like my tools, torches, food, and map. Right, now let's make some sticks. And then I can, so then I'll make some more torches. Yep. You know, you know, I'm, um, you know, I'll chuck, you know, I'll chuck these torches, you, you know, I'll chuck these torches down out here, down around here, because you never know when it could get dark with, because you never know when it could suddenly get really dark. So I'll chuck these torches down here, and I'll put the last one right here. Right, and the right, and the sugar canes can come with us because we because we can plant them in our at our new joint. Yep, all, yep, all this can come with us for when we set up the farm, and yeah, I'll, I'll think of other stuff to bring, I'll think of anything else I need while I go check progress on the fire, but then in the morning we will go. Yeah, I've definitely, yeah, I definitely should have enough wood to be able to build it, to be able to build a starter house. Yeah, it looks like, yeah, it looks like, yeah, yeah, it looks like the area, yeah, it looks like the area where I lit the fire is pretty much fit. Yeah, it looks like the area where I've burnt fire, where it started the fire, where it was taking hold before. It looks like that, that, it looks like that fire is starting to fizzle out. It looks like it's starting to fizzle out. Oh, and that crater there is where a creeper blew up. Yeah, so coming back here, but yeah, I've definitely created a big enough area that I can see my house from a distance. Yeah, to be honest, I am kind of gonna miss this cute little shack, but I need to go bigger. Oh, and I'll put, oh, and I'll bring this bed with me as well. That way I can set my, that way I can set my spawn regularly if I have to travel a long distance. Anything else? I should probably bring these apples. Oh, these birch logs can come with me. The flint can also come. So can the, I don't need gunpowder. I can get more. Pumpkins definitely can. Mm, the pumpkins are definitely coming, and yeah, I think yeah, I think that yeah, I think that's it. So I'll skip to the 
so I'll skip to them off. Oh, actually, off the phone, we'll make, we will make a, we will make a axe before we go. And this we can go in, this one piece of, piece of wheat can go in here, so it can be sticks. Because I highly, because we, we've got so much wood, we can always make more sticks. But anyway, I'll skip to the morning when we're, but anyway, I'll skip to the morning when we're ready to go. Right, yep, it's morning now, so just a final check to make sure we've got, to make sure we've got everything. Our chest is now pretty bare. Yep, yep, looks like we've got everything. Let's go. Well, it was, well, you've served your purpose now. Maybe I'll come back, but if not, uh, but if not, Shaq, you will always be here. And because, and because, and big, and I, and don't worry, Shaq, I promise that you won't fall into disrepair with the unrealistic physics in Minecraft. But of course, if this was realistic physics, if I came back 200, episodes later if the physics were realistic then the shack would be run down Got a jun oh, oh there's a jungle temple. Right. Right, now we're gonna pick up now we're gonna get out and we're gonna be very careful that we don't fall. Right, now we're gonna be very careful that we don't get Oh come on! Oh, come on! Stop fucking lagging! Thank you. Mm, I should probably make a new sword because I'm not sure how long this one has until it kicks the bucket. not becoming night because the last thing I want is to holy shit that would be a creeper Yep, 
Yep, there we go. My heart literally skipped a beat. Ow! Fuck, that hurt. You know what, I'm putting my bed down here because if it becomes night I want to be able to sleep. Right. Did this open it? Right. Hold on, maybe if we pull. Oh wait, our chest is full, but yes, I de will definitely be taking this. Right, rotten flesh don't need bones I can get anywhere. Oh, and we earned an achievement! Yay! Oh wait. Yep, we've got more gold, which we don't really need, so I'm just going to leave it. Hmm, right. Okay, right, and of course if this was, luckily this isn't the negative challenge, so I don't have to burn my diamond and I can actually keep it. and explored it and that a bit and as you can see there's a witch over there so hopefully I can try it so I'm gonna try to take that witch out hopefully without things going pear shaped in fact is there a cow aha uh -huh, there are some cows so what I'll do is I'll get a crafting table I'll put my bed down here so that it's out of the way and I'll make a bucket and then I can get some milk and and then, and then if I equip that next to my sword which I will put my good sword there then I can take out the witch and then can't and then get rid of the and then get her and then get rid of the effects that the witch causes so Let's do this. I'm really hoping things don't go pear shaped. Right, let's go to. Right, let's wait for a witch to go up there. Let's go around and get our hunter up. And. Charge! Oh wait, I don't need the milk. Oh, what's, oh, what did I get? Glowstone dust. Right. Yay. I was able to kill the witch without things going pear-shaped. But, 
I'll show you where I did find the witch. I found it inside this witch's hut right here. And, but yeah, I've heard these things are pretty rare, so let's see what's inside. Hmm. Hmm, not very much. Right, whatever happens, I'll be setting up my house. Whatever happens, I'll set up my house near here. I like desert. Yes, we found desert. Yay. And I'll set, and, and now that we've found desert, I'll set up my, yeah, I'll set up my house on this biome, on, in this plains biome that's halfway in between. So, now that, um, yeah, the, yeah, I'm glad we found desert, so now what I'll do is I'll speed up the video while I build a basic house. <laughs>
there we go. So that's our little farm set up. So, I'll, so I'll can, I think I'll end the episode here now that we've found where we're gonna go. And off camera, I'll get the supplies we need to start building the house, and we're, I'll level the area off a bit. So. By the time we come back next episode, we will be able to start work on our brand new house. So I'd like to say thank you very much for watching. This has been GM Time 2000. You guys have been awesome and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!